Did you know that World Sight Day is this Thursday to talk about how to keep our eyes in shape? Uh, right now we have a doctor with us, Dr. Bronwyn Mulherin. How are you? I'm pretty great. Thanks for asking. Good to see you. Now, did you actually come all the way in from New Brunswick for I this segment? I did, from beautiful Fredericton, New Brunswick. Wow, that's a dedication to I know. Daytime Ottawa. I really like Ottawa. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> but tell us, though, because you're here for, because you, you sort of have somebody important living. I do. My Ottawa husband area. is the Canadian Forces, um, wow. and he works here, so uh, we came up to visit him, and I get to meet with you and talk about World Sight Day. Which is great. So it's a win-win <laughs> for you, really. It really right? is. It really is. So you're with Downtown Optometry Clinic That's in, right. in, sorry, where exactly? In Fredericton, New Brunswick. Fredericton, New Brunswick. How long have you been a, a doctor, an optometrist? Oh, I don't like to count years. So I graduated from the University of Waterloo in uh, 2004, mm -hmm. and then I practiced in Ottawa, okay. actually this region in a bunch of different capacities uh, for three years, and yeah. then I returned back to my hometown of Fredericton, New Brunswick. So what is it about eye care, though? Because you've been doing this for so long. <laughs> why, why do you love the human eye so much? Think about your life without your vision. Mm -hmm. And not, not something I'd want to think about, really. No. Amazingly, about 80% of our brain receives input from our visual system. Mm -hmm. Our vision is so ultimately important to everything we do all day long. Okay. Um, and uh, during my undergrad training, um, I took a course about how we perceive our world. A lot of it was about vision, and I thought, how can I turn this into a career? Wow. Um, so I get to help people, uh, help educate people, help uh, people optimize their vision and protect their vision every day. It's okay. an awesome job, and I love it. So what is the, the whole point of World Sight Day, then? To bring awareness um, to the fact that there is a, a lot of people in this world. Um, we live in Canada. We're very privileged <laughs> yeah. um, in this world who um, are blind in a preventative way. So if they had access to appropriate eye care, mm -hmm. they would not be blind. Mm. Um, so there's an organization in Canada, um, Optometry Giving Sight, that raises money uh, towards um, the movement to, to provide access to eye care. Um, and a lot of optometry offices locally, uh, and I know in my city, um, will be raising money in their offices uh, on Thursday for oh, World Sight Day. Okay, yeah. so raising money or, or even like used glasses, like what, what are they accepting? Is it just cash though? Usually it's money and a lot of practices like ours, um, we'll actually give a percentage of our exam fees that day or, or a certain amount of money per pair of glasses, um, this sort of thing. So, or we'll match all the donations that come in okay. uh, for that day. So those are common ways that they'll fundraise okay. um, for that. So people should make an appointment for this Thursday. They absolutely should. But they should make an appointment no matter what. I mean, how often should be, people be checking their eyes out? Well, um, for an average healthy person, mm, usually every two years. Yeah. Um, but if you have any sort of underlying issues, or if someone wears contact lenses, for example, they should be seen on a yearly basis. Now, why contact lenses? Well, for a couple of reasons. Contact lenses um, are changing and evolving very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, we have some products here today that we'll talk about um, that are super um, amazing, comfortable, and safe. Mm -hmm. But if you don't go and see your eye doctor before you order again, how can I upgrade you exactly. to the safest and best thing? Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so what is, what is one of the, because I'm seeing a big word in front of me here, so is it presbyopia? Yes. Did I say, I said that correct? Presbyopia. Cool. You did a great job Glad that, I actually. wrote down it for <laughs> Glad you prompted me earlier to tell me how to say it. So what exactly is that? Cause, so that's a condition that we're, we're up against right now? Yeah, so presbyopia. Right now in the world, there's approximately 1.7 billion people with presbyopia. Billion. Uh, billion, that's really? right. Because the world only has 8 yeah. billion, right? It only does. eight yeah, billion. Yeah, I know. So that's, that's a lot. That's a big percentage. Over the next five years, up to 2.1. So we're looking at a big boon of presbyopes coming down the line. So wow. presbyopia is a natural condition um, that's related directly to age. Okay. So almost everyone, if we live long enough, mm -hmm. um, will become presbyopic. And what that means is that when you go to look at something up close, like your phone, uh, a menu, a prescription bottle, if you're reading stories to your kids at night like I do, yeah. <laughs> it'll start to get tough to do that. Really? Um, and so people usually need um, glasses or progressive lenses in their glasses um, to help them see up close. Okay. Is there a reason why this condition occurs? Life. So it's just, it's basically just age. <laughs> it is. It's one of the first things that is age related that actually mm -hmm. affects our functionality okay. on a day to day basis. It's quite a shocker for a lot of people when they come and they're like, oh, I have to get glasses. Yeah. And that's because a lot of people feel like glasses are related to being old. Yeah, but I, I think glasses are, <laughs> are stylish. I agree with you. It's interesting though because when they did a survey um, in the Canadian population, um, a lot of people feel like it makes them look old okay. or they'll judge someone as being older if someone's wearing glasses. Now yeah. that could be they just haven't gone to the right optometry yeah. you know, practice to get okay. their right glasses, but um, a lot of people want to avoid 
um, wearing glasses if mm -hmm. they can. Some people would rather squint. About 16% of the people they surveyed would rather squint. They'd rather see blurry wow. than wear glasses. W well, dare I say the right pair of frames are, can even be <laughs> quite, quite, quite sexy. I agree you know, with you. I, I think that yeah. they really can add to your features. Yeah. And so that's that's a plus, yeah. I yeah. would say. And I think it's all about how the glasses look too. So if you have a pair of reading glasses, they're specifically only for reading, meaning mm -hmm. if you look through them, far away would be blurry. Yeah. And you're off and on, off and on, off and on, off and on with them, or yeah. on top of your head, or have a beautiful lanyard around your neck yeah, so your yeah. glasses <laughs> are resting on your yeah. chest. I think that's the kind of thing that people um, associate with uh, with glasses making them look older. Okay, so we just yeah. have over a minute left and I know that you brought some products I in. I did. So tell us about some of the stuff that make our lives easier. So this product is called Daily's Total One. It's a multifocal one day contact lens from Alcon. It is the top notch multifocal lens available so it corrects your vision for far away and for up close incredibly comfortable and because it's a one-time use lens you're having a fresh clean lens every day which mm -hmm. reduces your risk of complications with contact lens wear it's also amazingly comfortable nine out of ten people who wear it can actually feel the lens in their eye which is oh, amazing wow. okay so, yeah. so to get a product like this obviously come see your optometrist. Yes, but definitely. You might have to go to Fredericton. Is what, is what's well, I'd here. love for everyone to come see me in Fredericton. There's a, a plethora <laughs> of amazing optometrists here in the Ottawa area. You guys yeah. are really fortunate to have a great group here. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you for being here, uh, Dr. Mulheron. Well, thank we you for having it. me. This is and, fun. Uh, all the best with World Sight Day coming up this Thursday. Thank you. Go get your eyes checked. Yes, get your eyes checked. <laughs> coming up, this guy's lots of fun. He owns two stores, the Gilly Galoo Bird. Bob Volks joins us next on Daytime.